Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to play around with the overlapping feature in Excel charts so that we can really compare two values one on top of the other. So here's what I mean. I've got this chart here of some goal values and some actual values. And it's a nice way to look at a chart when you can see those values, you know, kind of one on top of the other, and you can really see in which area the actuals in orange uh, did not meet or exceeded the goal values in blue. So let's go ahead and create a chart like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the chart that I've got and delete it. Now I've already got some pretend data over here, N uh, no big deal, just some text values that represent years and some uh, goals and some actuals. Let's go ahead and select that data as we would for any normal chart data. And I'm going to insert now I'm going to do a column chart and specifically I'm going to do the 2D uh, clustered column chart. So let me go ahead and click on that one. Okay, and that's the default chart right there. And that's not bad. However, I would definitely like to encourage you to reduce gap sizes, get those bars as big and chunky as reasonable, especially if you're using this chart as some kind of a visual aid in a uh, presentation or something. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on my blue bars, columns I suppose, Format Data Series, and that's going to open up the styling, the format pane over there on the right side of Excel 365. And let's see, let's go ahead and do a couple things here. Now for series overlap, it's currently negative 20, uh, negative 20%. We could do something like negative 100%, and that's really going to separate those by the, the width of a bar. That's not what I want to do. I want to do a positive 100%, which is going to put those two values on top of each other. So now my actuals are on top of those bars. I also want to reduce my gap width. Currently 219 is too big. I'm going to knock that down to just 20%. So there's very little gap in between the spaces and the bars are super big and chunky now. All right, feeling pretty good about that. But I want to be able to see more of that goal uh, series behind there. I don't want the orange to completely cover up the blue because it's a little bit misleading, right? So what I'm going to do next, in fact, let me right click format data series. Let's get back into there and notice on my series options in my format data series, there's a secondary access. All right. I'm going to click on that secondary access and I'm going to change the gap width here. Instead of 20%, I'm going to make that 80%. And we start to get something that's kind of interesting, but it's still a little bit misleading. I can close this format data series option for a moment. And you'll notice that, well, it looks like all of my orange actuals are within my blue goals. And that's because I've got two different data series over here. And the oranges are using the data series on the right, the secondary axis and the blues are using the values over there on the left. Well, that's not exactly what I want either because that can be kind of tricky for people to know which series values to look at. So what I'm going to do, super easy, I'm just going to click on any one of these values over here. That selects it. Just delete those right off. And now they're going to use both. So now our orange actuals and our blue goals are going to be using that same series values there over on the left. And we can see we can change these pretty easily. So let's say I did have a goal in 2019 of 300. Well, now that's going to blow these others up. By the way, there's a little percentage thing going on there to make those other ones higher. Great. But let's say in 2019, I also hit an actuals of 350. So those actuals are going to go up higher than the goals. So there we go. Pretty easy to work with here, and the key was playing around with the series overlap and the gap width for both the primary axis and then the secondary axis. So start making those uh, column charts. Thanks for hanging out with me.